Hi, I'm Susan. This is Gary. This is what we did in our intensive. Um, and this was on standing out. So we we're talking about specifically about dynamics, right? So what are dynamics? This is like creating change and variation so that it looks different from what you've done before and what you're going to do. What your inflection that. and intention is. Yes, exactly. So what we talked about is four different things that we're going to mess with. We have weight, time, space, energy. Okay. So for weight, we have light, normal, heavy, cool. For time, you have slow, normal, fast. For uh, space, you have small, normal, big, close, normal, far, and then how you travel around the room. And then finally, energy, we talked about free, normal, bound. Cool, now we did things with each of those. So um, first one was weight, okay? So weight was like using weight to feel yourself into the ground, but you can also just look weighted by usually settling one, one uh, your ankle or your knee or your hip. Yeah, or even just doing this can look quite heavy as well. So heavy is easier to learn down, it yes, is. but it doesn't mean you have to be down. So drop your weight and feel that weight shifting from foot to foot, and then try to drag your feet flat across the floor. That's gonna make it feel heavy instantly, yes? Now go up to your tiptoes and try to lift your hands out of the ceiling. This is gonna make you feel like, now I can be light down here, and I can be, I can be, heavy up here yes it doesn't mean that you have to be but it's easier to learn heavy down and light up cool okay so then we applied it to pattern so the first one we did was angsty sugar push one two three four five six now i can get heavy with her and drop with her if i know it's coming if i don't know it's coming then i usually will end up reacting to it and getting heavy off my two as i do it into three four cool tough we went up on three one, two, and three, four, five, six. Then we did a spinning side pass with a heaviness. Walk, walk, triple step, heavy. Then we did Tatiana whip. Walk, walk, triple step, five, six, seven, eight. And I went uh, seven, strong, strong chest, strong upper body, and then support her, she does a seven, eight. So then I go and one, out of it. Cool. Those were examples. Then what we said is, hey, you don't have to do our examples. These are just to get your mind rolling. So then Gary gave the great drill of pick two beats within your normal basic. It could be one, two, could be three, four, could be five, six. We did three, four, and we said, okay, everything we're going to do has to be heavy. So an example of that real quick was uh, sugar push heavy. Oh. Yes. Tuck had to be heavy. Yeah. Under right, turning right side pass it was weird, but you had to be heavy. Yes, and then whip, you can feel that that's heavy on the three and four. Yes, to practice. Then do the same thing for one, two, do the same thing for five and six, and then on the whip, do it for seven and eight as well. Cool, sometimes for that, you might need help creating content that makes sense if you can't think of one. That's totally cool. Cool, so just get your teacher or your helper to figure that out for you. Cool, so then the next one we did was time, right? So time is slow to fast. You want to do extremities first? Okay. So we did this drill. So we do and one, right? Then we did and one. Then we did and one. Yeah, so adding your head, delaying it with your extremities gives the impression of speed, even though you're not really any faster. Cool, it's a, a cool trick. Good, so then we did it within the patterns. So we did a plain sugar push. Cool. Then we did a tough form and a delay. One. Delay two. two. Now hold the two longer, then shoot up for three. Yes. And remember, we didn't say you can do that by yourself. One, two, two, three, four, five, and six. It's inside of your body, pushing from one foot to the other, adding rotation to it. So add, add the rotation to it, you can make it a lot faster. Cool. Then we did the spinning side pass. Walk, walk, triple, heavy. I'm looking away from the direction. So that was the thing we did with the extremities. Then we're going to go. And then Gary had us walk one time as well, which looked like this. Walk, walk, walk. Yes, yeah, so you can pair that with movement. It looks really cool. Okay, next one we did was space. So we only got one version of this because we started to run out of time. But this was the leaders are going to come into our space. We're going to get close to the sugar push, and the leaders are going to encroach on us. So we go walk, walk, nice and close, normal, close and then far away, yeah? So that has a lot more dimension than if we just kept it the same the whole time. So just remember when you're dancing to allow yourself to play with getting closer to your follow and away. So instead of doing the telemark, for example, like, like where you stay the same distance, 
that doesn't look nearly as good as if I get a little bit a little bit closer and then away from her and then here maybe we'll get closer here and then we'll maybe go away again come in so this idea of just getting closer or further as you dance to the dance but it also refers to the follower and the leader individually being smaller or larger as you dance through the dance as well and it, last part of it was in the room sometimes in a spot a spotlight jacket chill you want to take it from where it's sitting and move it somewhere both leader and can follower can make that move uh, more dynamically throughout the room cool then last thing was um Valid. energy so we talked about this how do you create this energy within your own body so we did the bad punch then we said the better punch using our legs then we used our breath cool then we used that guttural cool now we're not saying you want to use that actual yelling, but it helps me be aware to me of how much energy you have within yourself. And then you just turn the dial a little less, but it's always, I find for my students, it's way more, you need way more energy than you think you do to make it look good. Yeah, when you're cool. doing too much, we watch video of ourselves doing too much and we're like, oh, it's almost enough. Yeah, that's yeah. really true. It's really true. Like we have watched ourselves, we think like, that was so energy and we watched the video, we're like, oh my God, that's not, we're, we're nearly where we need to be. Yes. And it changes on a daily basis because you feel different every day. So you've got you to always get it to a level where that you can measure that it's at that level every single time. And you video yourself a lot. You need to video yourself to, to, uh, to have something to um, reference to, but to also to be accountable to, that you can actually come back to that level or get past that level next time you do it. Cool, okay, so then, um, we did, for this one, was bound free. So we did just a tuck turn or a whip, two, three, four, bound free. So the idea of bound is if we want to squeeze the hands is until you're shaking and slowly release it. That's a nine, a ten, oh, sorry, eight, seven, six, five. Should feel comfortable and free. Four, the arms get heavy. Three, now I'm super free. So free means my body's going to, it just looks like it melts like a, like a, like a tree in the wind kind of thing. But it has to have that, that, that kind of fluid mo 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 motion to it as we go through it. Now what I would say is like for fun homework or to try is let, let's just pick one for you. Maybe the first one because I feel like that's the one that we spent the most time on you got the most, which was the light and heavy. So try this weekend, like doing all your dances, really exploring, going light and heavy all the time. It will look so different if you get to video it. Now maybe don't try it in competitions yet if you don't feel comfortable. Sometimes <laughs> they say, Things might not be show ready yet, but definitely experiment. And experiment in no time it will be. Hey guys, thank yeah. you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you so much. You.